low. No low. Hi, good evening. Good, good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Very good. You're fine. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. I can see Sara, Elena, Maritza, Carlos, Jenny, Ivan, Esperanza. Good night. Hello, I can see Ruth, Cristina. Very good. Sofia is in the class. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Hi, class. How are you? How was your day? Como estuvo su día? Was it good? Was it bad? Stressful? How was your day? It was so good. It, it was, was a so good, good day. Bien, que me alegre escuchar eso. Y el resto de la clase, how was your day? How was your day? Very good. Very good. Interesting. What day is it today? What day is it today? Yes. Today is, is it Monday? Thursday. Tuesday? Yes. Thursday. Okay, very good. Thursday, how do we say jueves in English? Thursday. And what does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Que mañana tenemos clase o no? Do we have class tomorrow no. or not? No. No, tomorrow. Why not? Because it's Friday. Tomorrow no, is Friday. Pero si quieren tenemos clases. Por mí no hay problema. No, teacher. Dear. Only on Thursday, right? So let's wait for your classmates. Démosles un minutito más a sus compañeros so they can join the class. Mientras I'll se have ponen, class tomorrow. Yo tengo una duda. Yeah, please. Ahorita aclaremos las antes de empezar. Yes, what is your question? Este, ahora íbamos a entregar lo que es la sección 1 y la sección 2 o solamente la 1. Okay, let me explain this to you. Is section number 1 and section number 2. Si se recuerdan, eh, nuestro curso dura cuántas semanas? 4 weeks. ¿Verdad? 4 semanas. ¿Cuántas secciones tenemos? ¿Tenemos? Cinco. Cinco. Es por eso que puede ser que nuestra primera semana sea la más pesada, tal vez con más ejercicios. Because we have section number one and section number two. Después de eso nos quedamos ya las siguientes tres semanas con una sección para cada semana. Right. So, yes. For today we have section one and section two. Okay, entendí más. Yo solo una semana trabajé, entonces voy a trabajar mañana la otra semana. That's okay. So, ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para entregarla? Um, tomorrow in the morning sería lo más tardado, tal vez. Tomorrow morning. But don't worry, let me show. Les muestro cómo son los ejercicios. No toman mucho tiempo. Quienes ya finalizaron, ¿cuánto tiempo les tomó más o menos cada sección? How much time? ¿Alguien que haya consulta. terminado? Yes. Ah, o sea, vamos a trabajar, ¿Ya? vamos a hacer tareas o ejercicios de algo que no hemos visto todavía. Si se fijan, ahorita solo nos hace falta cubrir eh, dos temas. Dos temas para finalizar sección número dos. Entonces, para este día sí estaríamos ya completos. Eh, por eso les digo. Démosle hasta mañana, en la mañana, lo más tarde, para poder completar las secciones y que puedan eh, revisar las secciones 1 y 2. Right. So let me show you. Aquí vamos, la plataforma. Here we go. Ok. It's right here. Eh, ¿Y cuando se... Hola. Yes, I can listen to you. 
Les tenía una pregunta. Ok, go ahead. Y cuando se refiere que hay que subirlos al foro, al foro cuando dice que hay que grabar este, algunas tareas y subirlas al foro, ¿es acá donde tenemos que compartirlas o en el WhatsApp? No, ok, don't worry, les explico ahorita, tal vez uh, vamos iniciando primera semana, hay muchas preguntas, vámonos a la sección 1, section number 1, aquí estamos, si se fijan nosotros tenemos apoyo de videos que compartimos también en la clase and that you can watch at home or at your work again, right? Y vamos trabajando 1, 1.1. Objetivo, ah, objetivo de la actividad 1.2. Miren, y así vamos recorriendo cada sección. Video y estas secciones que tienen el lapicito de Knowledge Check son los ejercicios, ejercicios que ustedes eh, desarrollan para comprobar cómo nos ha ido con el video que acabamos de ver en la sesión, si aclaramos dudas o no. y Si se fijan, son ejercicios bien cortos. Very short exercises. Solo para comprobar el desarrollo del tema que hemos visto. Miren este, en este caso, tres ejercicios. Siempre las indicaciones están ambas. In English and also in Spanish. ¿Se acuerdan esto? Vimos my, your, his and her. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos en la clase esta sesión? Este contenido. Yes. So, complete. Yes. These three questions, well, no son three questions, sentences with my, your, his, or her. Primer ejercicio. Voy y busco el siguiente. Miren, spelling name. Practicamos ya spelling names in English. Yes, right. Este es un ejercicio de audio. ¿Cómo deletreamos el nombre de ciertas personas? Conversation. Siempre este ejercicio se va a abrir en una ventana externa, los audios o imágenes compartidas. Miren, identifican ustedes cómo deletrearon John o John con H al final. And we have five examples. So you can practice your listening. Siguiente knowledge checked. Acá está, miren, tercer parte. What do we have to do? Complete the conversation by filling in the blanks. Si se fija qué tipo de información nos pregunta. Personal information. Utilizando el verb to be. Verbo to be. ¿Se acuerdan el verbo to be? Am, is, are. Excuse me, are you Steven Carson? No. ¿Qué vamos a completar acá? I don't know. No, I'm not. Um, ¿Qué nos hace falta para completar? No, I'm not. My name, David Medina. ¿Qué utilizamos? Necesitamos un verbo. My name is. is. Ok, and so on. Y así, seis ejercicios. Y nos vamos al final de la section number one, the last exercise. Again, a listening conversation or listening practice exercise. Vamos, escuchamos el phone number. Vamos a tomar ahora un tiempo para repasar números del 1 al 10. Phone number, right. So, section number one, it's over. It's complete. Los contenidos de la section number two, les damos un repaso en esta clase. Right. So, Así ustedes ya pueden completar. Y les he dicho cualquier cosa, consúltenme. Hasta ahora, ninguno de este grupo me ha escrito a WhatsApp. Ahí estoy disponible, right? Nadie me ha dicho, teacher, I don't understand this section. No entiendo, right? Siempre traten de hacerlo. So, para no perder tiempo, les Pero no tengo su WhatsApp, WhatsApp, teacher. Ok, si se fijan, ¿quién es que envía las fotos? Eh, bueno, está en inglés corporativo. Ahí dice, está ahí. Y quien les comparte durante la clase los ejercicios extra. Ya han visto que les envío a WhatsApp. Ok, vamos a trabajar este ejercicio, esta foto. Ahí pueden ver. Si no, ya les voy a ayudar a identificar mi nombre. Ok, so don't worry. No se sientan ahorita perdidos, presionados. 
es el inicio. Créanme que después vamos a ir acostumbrándonos al uso de la plataforma y van a sentirse un poco más tranquilos. La idea es consultar. Cualquier cosa que no me quede clara, voy y pregunto. Right. So please, si me dicen, teacher, pero yo no alcanzo a terminar hasta mañana, siempre sepamos justificar, ¿ok? Tranquilos, no quiero llevarlos corriendo o que no se sientan seguros de lo que estamos haciendo. ¿Ok? The idea is for you to learn. Queremos que aprendan, no que vayamos corriendo, ¿ok? I need you to learn. Right. Any other questions? Pregunta, chicos. Questions. Preguntas. Teacher, una consulta. ¿Sí? En las indicaciones del día 30 de mayo consultaban de que teníamos hasta el día viernes de cada semana a las 12 de la noche que se cerraba la plataforma para poder mm -hmm. realizar la, las mm -hmm. actividades. Pero veo que usted comenta que, que es hasta el día de mañana eh, en la mañana. Ok, yes, you know, not really. No es que se cierre la plataforma. Nuestra plataforma es 24-7. No hay donde se pueda cerrar, ok. Eh, lo que pasa es que hay personas que se enfocan en ir revisando los ejercicios. Entonces, para evitar hacer, digamos, tres revisiones, porque uno no lo completó o porque otro no, tratamos de dar como un lapso para que ustedes tengan Toda la semana vamos viendo contenido. Ustedes desarrollan el ejercicio en la plataforma. Vemos contenido, desarrollan. Hay algunos que tienen un poco más de habilidad y no los vamos a detener que ustedes puedan ir avanzando a su ritmo. Don't worry. Pero sí, eh, siempre la primera semana de cada curso van a sentir eso, que hay dos secciones de completar. Ya después se quedan una sección cada semana. Entonces, no es que se cierre la plataforma, sino... ¿Qué pasa eso? Revisamos su avance. Porque si nosotros no revisamos semanalmente, no queremos que se les acumule al final del módulo y que no se vaya a pasar al siguiente nivel. Es mejor que nos acostumbremos a eh, tomar, tal vez después de la clase, un minutito para revisar qué actividades puedo adelantar. Si no, espero hasta la siguiente clase, pregunto o aclaramos con algún ejercicio. Así vamos acostumbrándonos a trabajar. Right. So, look. This is, well, it's not section number one. Ya vamos por section number two, pero no le he cambiado ahí. Section number two. And the topics for today. We are going to have a short review about numbers and the use of this and this. Right. This and this. So, this is class number four. And this is the teacher's name. Let's go and work right now. So what if I ask you, class, do you know numbers from one to 10? Do you know numbers from one to 10? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher, no yes. teacher. Yes. Okay, so I guess we have used numbers from one to 10 before. So. In order for you to practice the pronunciation, I'm going to explain how to pronounce numbers. You know, it's very easy. There are some numbers that we need to practice more, but it's not difficult. So, look, my whiteboard, vamos a mi pizarra. Numbers from one to 10. Okay, we say one. We are going to practice pronunciation, okay? And then we have number two. Very good. How about this one? How do we pronounce this in English? Three. Three. How about the next one? What number is this? Four. 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 And let's have this number. This number five. 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 Let's have five more. What number Six. is this one, class? Six. 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 What number is this one? Seven. 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 Very good job. How about this number? Eight. 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 About this number? Nine. 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 And Nine. the last one for today. This Nine. number? Ten. 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 So, 
look at the numbers and let's see how do we pronounce numbers. This is very easy. Listen. One. 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 So please don't say one. No. No entendemos ninguna G al inicio. One. 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 Very good job. Let's continue with this number. Next one is number two. 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 So this is different from two. this one. Es diferente la pronunciación. Pronunciamos ambos. Number two and then two. 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 Wow, two. very good job. Two. Two. Three. 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 In Spanish, Three. 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 we don't have this sound in Spanish. No tenemos este sonido. That's why it's difficult. Oh, I guess we have it. Sí lo usamos, pero no lo marcamos. No pronunciamos bien. For example, how do you read this name? ¿Cómo leemos ese nombre? Lisa. Uh -huh. Ah, ¿qué decimos? Elizabeth. Ah, but what is the correct pronunciation? Elizabeth. 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 Yes. Yeah. About this name. Yamilet or Yamilet. Yamilet. Ah, you see, so we have this sound in Spanish, but we don't like to pronounce it. No solo suena la T, es TH, la TH. Three. 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 So, how do you pon en su lengua en medio de los dientes? Three. 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 Very good job. Sí, sí. Very Lee, y a mí que me nace natural pronunciar la R, aunque sea en el inglés. Really? Okay. <risa> o sea, se, me hace, se me hace difícil querer omitirlas, sino que es natural que, que uh -huh. salga la R. True. Even better, Pero, mejor. Three, eh, very good. Es que es una gran, <risa> siento que es una gran dificultad porque no, o sea, no estoy acostumbrado a ese manejo de la lengua en querer omitir la letra, ya que soy tan acostumbrado. Uh -huh. a, a pronunciarla. Entonces, en el inglés no existe la R, o sea, no se pronuncia una, una R, sino a que R, es... Es right. stronger, más fuerte, yes. Más eh, fuerte. ¿Qué técnica me podría brindar para poder manejar eh, ese detalle? So, with number three, no suena, no le suena la R. Three. 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 Ok, repite. So, yo, ok, yo diría eh, técnica. Three, es que o sea, me, la, 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 la yes. R me nace natural. <laughs> ok, do it. Pronounce number three, please. Vamos, Eric. Three. Yeah, three. but that's ok. Three. Three. That's ok. Se entiende. Oh. Three. Here, three. the most important thing is this one. Lo más importante es resaltar esto. TH sound. Three. 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 Yeah. three. So we cannot confuse three. this word. Árbol in English suena más leve. Three. 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 Do you see the difference? Uh, four. 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 There we go. Do you see the difference? Four. 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 Hay diferencia. Hay una vocal extra. Very good job. Four. Four. And then we have. This is easy. Five. 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 So, in English, we have this sound. Tenemos este sonido en inglés y este. So, what is the difference? Five. 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 With Five. this one, Five. Five. Esta, la B lleva como un golpe. B. Five. 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 Five
B y se cierran los labios. B. Pero con esta, with this one, five. No se cierran, no se unen los labios, si se fijan. Five. Uh, five. Queda um, abierto incluso. Five. 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 Mm -hmm. five. 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 Five.
1955. Como ustedes quieran. The most common one, lo más fácil es darlo de uno en uno para que se entienda. Right. So, let's go and practice right now. I'm going to give you five minutes to practice asking what is your cell phone number? What is your cell phone number? And practice spelling numbers. Si te fijas, hacemos lo mismo de letreo, but in this case, we are spelling what? Numbers. Ayer practicamos spelling. The name. Name. So you see, let's go and practice. I'm going to be listening to you. What is the question? What is your cell phone number? Preguntémosle a sus compañeros, what is your cell phone number? Is it clear? What is your cell phone number? Mm -hmm. What is, what is your cell phone number? What is your cell phone number? What is your cell phone number? Here we go. The spine practice. What is your cell phone number? What is your cell phone number? Here we go. Let's go and work. What is your cell phone number? What is your cell phone number? Very good. What is your cell phone number? Go, please. Excelente. Teacher, tengo una consulta. Yes, Susana. Eh, no sé si, okay, no sé si tomó asistencia al inicio de la clase, pero es que tenía exposición de la universidad y no me pude unir a, a tiempo. Uh, you know what, Susana, to be honest, se me había olvidado. Gracias por recordarme, Susana. No he tomado oh, okay. Thank you. Bueno. Okay. I'm going to take it after this activity. Thank you. Okay. Se me olvidó. Thank you. So go and work. I'm just missing Christina and Susan. Thank you, please. I don't understand. English, please. Seven o six six. Uh -huh. De ahí six two. Oh, six two. Y de ahí eight eight six eight six. Okay. Yeah. What is the cell phone? Vamos a preguntarle a Karina. <laughs> Este, Karina, what is your yeah. cell phone number? My cell phone number is 71934548. Este, ¿verdad? Ahí le pongo en el chat para que, para que vayan comparando cómo se llama este. El listening con la pronunciación. Si le interesa. Okay. Jocelyn, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven five or three eight eight five or five four. Sí, ver. Hey, a mí no me van a preguntar. <laughs> what is your cell phone number? Eh, seven six eh, out six eh, two out two seven ahí está ahí estaría <laughs> qué tal qué tal mi <laughs> cómo cómo le pareció la pronunciación <laughs> that's great I'm just listening that's okay I guess this topic is easy right it's not that difficult so mm. did you finish Yes. What is the question? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que hacíamos? What? What is your cell phone number? What is your cell phone number? Si se fijan, estamos practicando los possessive adjectives. Ya lo vimos. My, your, 
fish and hair. Aquí ven la pregunta. What is your? What is your cell phone your number? Cell phone. Very good. So let's go back. Volvamos a la sesión. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Very good. Let's wait for your classmates. Great. So, let me ask Jocelyn Yvette. Jocelyn, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7543885 or. Okay. Or or O. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación del cero? Huh? O. O, como la vocal. O. Right? O. So, very good job. Now, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, le pregunta a alguien más de la clase. Go, Jocelyn. Ask one of your classmates. Mm. Uh, Mayra. Okay, ask Mayra. Mayra, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven two one five zero oh, one eight four. Great job, Mayra. Ask one of your classmates. Okay. What is your cell phone number? Who? Quién? Who? Ah, tengo que elegir alguien. Yeah, please. One of your classmates, girl or boy. Este... Guadalupe. Okay. Ask the question to Guadalupe. My, okay. my Guadalupe. cell phone. Ah, perdón. <laughs> Guadalupe, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven eight nine three three seven three nine. Excellent. Guadalupe, Elena, Elena, please ask somebody else. Perdón. Ask one of your classmates. A Pero otra buscale. persona. Yeah, please. Así vamos a hacer. So be ready. Todos van a participar. Please. Um. A escribir. No, mencioneme nombres. Uh, no logro ver. Eric, soy ah, Eric. Perdón. <risa> Fernando. Ah, oh, Fernando, ok. Soy Fernando. Ven. Hola. Uh -huh. ¿A Fernando? Sí, está Fernando. We have Fernando in the class. No, right. Oh, no, we don't have Fernanda. Uh, Sofía. Sofía, yes. Ask Sofía. Uh, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 72385898. Excellent. So, Sofía, ask one of your classmates. Mm, Karina. Okay. <laughs> Karina, uh, what's your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven one nine three four five four eight. Okay, okay. Continue, continue. Karina, continue. Um, Ivan, uh, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is seven six 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 seven nine nine nine. Wow. Ivan, continue. Santo, what is your cell phone number? 
Uh, my name is cell phone number is seven one two seven five nine five eight. Excellent, Carlos, continue. Uh, Nathanael. Okay. What is your cell phone number? Cell phone number is seven six zero oh, six. Two out two seven. Great, continue. ¿Quién, quién más falta? A ver. I have many girls and boys who are missing. Hmm. Mm. Sofía. No, Sofía. Is your... so, Sofía yeah. Michelle, she's she already participated. Teacher, tal vez que suban la manito los que no han participado. Sí, mm -hmm. Ah, but you need to be ready. Vamos. Ok, here we have three volunteers. Three girls. Four, five. Wow, this is nine volunteers. Excellent. Eleven volunteers. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> Celia, what is your cell phone number? Está muteada. It's your microphone, please. Um, <laughs> the microphone. Okay. <laughs> okay. My cell phone number is 706662886. Great, continue. Audi, what's your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7833455. Oh. Okay, continue. Fast. Mm, let me. What is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7541609191. Okay, go, please, Naomi. Continue. Uh, Rosa, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7. Six nine five eight seven eight five. Okay, go ahead, continue. Um, Jenny, what is your cell phone number? Cell phone number is seven five five six four three one two. Wow, very fast, excellent. Continue. Y, la manita levantada son los que no. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is your cell phone number, um, Marisa Elizabeth? Uh, my cell phone number is seven o nine nine eight o eight one. Okay. Go, Marisa. Continue. What, uh, para Susana Elizabeth Go. Rivas. Okay. Um, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7373 Wow, continue. Uh, para Eric David, what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7005-8396. Okay, continue, Eric. Esperanza Lemus, Great. what is your cell phone number? Uh, my cell phone number is 7677-6049. Great. Go ahead, please. Continue. Um, Catherine, okay. what is your cell phone number? My cell phone number is 7994806969. Wow, great. Continue, Catherine. Uh, what is your cell phone number, Christina? America, Moje, Castillo. My cell phone number is 340780. Very good. Continue. Sara. Sara, go. 
¿Cuál Sara? ¿Cuál es Sara? Sara. Sara, 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 Elizabeth. Sara, 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 My cell phone number is seven four three one five six seven two. Okay, excellent. And the last one, Sara Idania. Ask Sara Idania, please. Okay. Uh, what is your cell phone number, Sara? My cell phone number is seven nine three. Oh, nine, six, seven, eight. Wow, that was great, you know. I guess this was a very easy topic, right? ¿Cómo sintieron este tema? Easy, difficult. Mm -hmm. How did you feel it's it? very easy. So, you easy. see, keep on practicing. So, let's move on. Look, next topic that we have. No tuve correcciones, lo hicieron muy bien, excellent. What is in your bag? Sometimes we have a lot of stuff in our bags. ¿Qué cargamos en nuestras carteras? Oh, these are some examples. Listen to the correct pronunciation. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio, and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. So if you see, what are some of the objects that you remember? This. Look, most of the time we only have cell phone that is very important. Key. Okay. Keys. Esta es la más difícil de pronunciar. Look, we don't say case, we say keys. Uy, let me make it bigger. La hago más grande. Similar to this one. Similar a esta palabra, miren. Keys. Pronuncian esta. Keys. Oh, same pronunciation. Keys. Keys. Yes. Así no van a olvidar cómo pronunciar llaves en inglés. Keys. Kiss. It's very similar the pronunciation, or it's the same, right? A cell phone. We don't have a camera anymore. No, we don't have a camera. Or do you have a camera in your bag? And no. All right. How about no. this one? A hairbrush. Yes, right? Yes. Yes. For girls, it's very common to have a hairbrush. How about hairbrush. a wallet? Wallet. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we need yes. to have money. How uh, do you have sunglasses in your bag? Possible. No, possible, right? How about this one? Look at the what, what is this? Come on. Do you have a CD player in your bag? Come on. This no. is not this is so old. No. So we no. don't have. So esto ya no nos Casi nadie lo anda. So, denme ideas. What do we have in our bag? ¿Qué tenemos en nuestra bolsa? Earphones. Earphones, yes. For example, they have this one. Aunque estos ya están bien viejos. Miren, this one. Ya no, teacher. Estamos inalámbricos, right? So, no. What else do we have? We have a hairbrush. ¿Qué más? Give me ideas. Water. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice fragancia? Uh, like a cologne. Okay, oh, body lotion, tal vez, body lotion. Uh -huh. What else do we have? Uh -huh. A mirror. A mirror, pencils or pens? What else? Paper. Alcohol gel. Uh, yes, right, alcohol gel. Now we need to carry. Maybe makeup. Uh -huh. Maybe makeup. Makeup, makeup right. So no. makeup. Lipstick. Makeup. Okay, for girls, it's very usual. Lip. Glass. 
glasses. Your glasses as well. We need to be carrying glasses, right? So, in English, it's very common to express this type of sentences or this type of vocabulary using this and these. Listen to the pronunciation. This and it's these. This. This. And this. And this. Hmm? So, ¿cómo hacemos oraciones con ese vocabulario? Look, here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. <laughs> Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this, and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out T-H-I-S, whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these, that spell out T-H-I-S, E S E whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. Yes. On a different class. Okay, so let's stop here and let's repeat the same information, right? This it is going to be used to describe objects that are near only one object is the and we are going to use this bien, bien similar la pronunciación solo que es un poco más larga this for objects that are near que están cerca pero que son plural Okay, more than one object. So let's repeat. This is a camera. This is a camera. Let's repeat, please. This is a camera. A camera. Hmm? This is a camera. A camera. This, this is a camera. This, this, is, this a is a camera. Oh, Click now. For, uh, yes, camera. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué la A cuando es una oración se pronuncia eh, como A, pero cuando es eh, en vocal se pronuncia A? Uh, you know, in English, cada vocal puede tener hasta cinco sonidos diferentes, depende de cómo la utilicemos. En español, las vocales tienen un solo sonido, A, E, I, O, U, in English. Existen casi 15 sonidos diferentes de vocales. So, it's very hard. Muy difícil explicar por qué en cada contexto. Pero en este caso, cuando es el artículo, we say, ah, this is a camera. This is a camera. Right? Se van a ir acostumbrando a entender cuando se pronuncia a o a. Right? So, a. This is an app. Pero siempre que es el artículo, va a sonar A. ¿Ok? Yes. So, uh, this is a camera. Look at the second example. How many cameras do you see in this picture? We have one, two. Two cameras. So, the sentence is, these are cameras. These are cameras. Is is for singular. ¿Se acuerdan del verbo to be? And are. It's for plural. Mm -hmm. 
is is for singular and are is for plural. So how do we make questions? Look at the questions. What's this? What is this? Is the same as what's this? ¿Qué es esto? Singular. What are these is the same as what, well, eso no tiene forma corta. What are these? Singular and plural. What is this? What are these? So, look at this part. Contraction. Vamos acostumbrándonos también a utilizar formas cortas. Contraction. It's is the same as it is. They are. They are. What's. What is. So, what's this? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué son esos? What is this? What are these? So, let's practice right now. Let's go to the practice. What is this? What are these? So, let me see. I guess you can see... Veamos si pueden ver eso. Do you see this one? What is this? What is this? This is your cell phone. Ajá. Ocupo this or this. What is this? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? La respuesta sería con this también. This cell phone. Is, 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 is. Oh, your cell phone. Miren, estamos repasando lo que aprendimos ya. Mine, your, his, and her. This is your cell phone, teacher. This is your cell phone. But look, the teacher has two cell phones. Yo tengo dos teléfonos, two cell phones. ¿Cómo hago la pregunta para dos objetos? What? What are these? What are these? What are these? Mm -hmm. These are your, your, your cell phone. Your cell phone or your cell phones? Cell phones. Cell phones. Porque, cell phones. Estamos, porque estamos hablando en plural. Okay, what is this? What are these? Let's continue. Let me show you my umbrella. Mi sombría. Umbrella. Only one. Hagamos la pregunta. Hagamos la pregunta. What? What is this? What is this? What is umbrella? An umbrella. Uh -huh. uh, and look, I have a hair brush. Only one. Make the question, please. What? What is this? 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 Hair brush. This is the hair brush. Hair brush. Hair brush. Veamos qué más tengo en mi bag. Literal, aquí tengo mi backpack. Look, I have a bag. Look, I have also my wallet. Tengo mi billetera. I have my wallet, like this one. My wallet. This is my wallet, actually. So, ¿cuántas wallets tengo? ¿Una o dos? Just? Two. One. Entonces, ¿cómo es la pregunta? What? 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 This. Uh -huh. what, is, what is this? These. These. What are these? Uh, what's this? This is. Uh -huh. And let's see. I have. Yeah, I this. have two cards. I have two cards. Dos tarjetas. Se ven, si se ven. How many? Tengo dos. ¿Cómo es la pregunta? What are these? What are these? Uh -huh. What are these? La respuesta. 
these are Star, yeah. your Star. cards. Bien, so if you see here in the platform, we have an exercise about this topic. Look, what are these? And the answer is, they are keys. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué son esas? Esas son llaves. So, look at the examples. Can you identify the vocabulary? We have number one. What is this in number one? Keys. 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 Number two, what is this? Number three, what is that? It's a bag. I guess it's a backpack. It's a backpack. Number four, what is in number four? How do we say that in English? ¿Cómo decimos reloj? Pero reloj de mano. Watch. 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 ¿Cómo decimos reloj de pared? Mm -hmm. Yes. Clock. Ah, very good. Are you sure? Yes. Watch. Clock is different. Number five. What is that in number five? Cell phone. Cell phone. Number six. What are these? Glass. 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 So, I want you to be careful. In English, we have words in plural. En inglés hay palabras que siempre van a ser plurales. Por ejemplo, son glasses. Siempre es plural. Glasses. Los lentes, eso siempre es plural. No decimos lente, no, lentes, sunglasses, glass. Miren, esta puede ser singular, pero casi siempre es plural. Keys, keys, la llave. Siempre andamos más de una llave, right? So, be careful with that. Si es plural, utilizamos what are these. So, now that you know the vocabulary, you can easily go and check. How do we complete this one? ¿Cómo completamos esta? Depende de la respuesta, teacher. Oh, they are backpacks. Como está en plural, ¿qué voy a utilizar? What uh, are these? Are, 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 are these? Ah, very good. Now look at number four. It's in singular. What's this? Voy a responder con plural o con singular. Plural. Uh -huh. singular. 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 Pregunta es en singular. Okay. It's a what. Uh -huh. Pero como en la número cuatro, miren, number four, let's go. Veamos número cuatro. What is this? Ah, depende de la imagen, así ustedes responden. Okay, very good. So this is section number two, C7. Let's go to the next knowledge check. Okay, it's not low. Okay, and if you see, seguimos con el mismo tema. What is this? What are these? Okay, same topic. So how do we make questions in English? Podemos utilizar what are these or we can also use the verb to be. Tenemos dos opciones para hacer preguntas. Con las WH words, que en este caso es what, o podemos utilizar el verbo to be, is, are, or am. Veamos mi ejemplo con el verbo to be. Miren. Are these your keys? ¿Son estas tus llaves? Ah, estoy utilizando el verbo to be. ¿Son estas tus llaves? So, look at number one. Veamos a número uno. Look at number one. These 
your umbrella. This your umbrella. ¿Qué voy a utilizar? Is, are, or it, am? Is. Ah, why? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué voy a utilizar? Porque es singular. Es singular. Porque es una sombrilla, una paraguas. Y si es plural, ¿qué voy a utilizar? Are. Entonces, ese es nuestra clave, right? Are Yes, right. So, now you can go, you can check the platform. If you have questions about this exercise, I'm going to be here. Me voy a quedar unos minutos más con mi compu, siempre me quedo. Cualquier duda, aquí voy a estar. Vamos a chequear la asistencia como última activity, right? So please, say here or present. Here we go. Today is Thursday, jueves 2, ¿verdad? Aquí vamos. Auri Joana. Here. Cristina América. Present, Miss. Ah, ok. Del Miss Elizabeth. Eric David. Present, teacher. Ok. Eric Omar Ponce. Fernando Heriberto. Guadalupe Elena. Present. Iván Alexander. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Karen Yamilex. Karina Alejandra. Present. Excellent. Catherine Yasmin. Present. Lilian Abigail. Mayra Xiomara. Present, teacher. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. Natanael Adonai. Present. Noemi Esperanza. Present. Oscar Rolando. Rosa Karina. Present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Carlos Cruz. Present teacher. Sara Elizabeth. Present. Sara y Dania. Presente. Ok, Silvia Elizabeth. Present. Sofía Michelle. Present. Susana Elizabeth. Present. Rollita Eunice Rivas. Yesenia Carolina. Jocelyn Ivette. Present. Soy la esperanza. Present. Great. So, questions, comments about this class? Yes? No? If not, we are going to stop the class here. I really hope you have a great Friday and weekend. Yes, Eric, I'm here still. Tell me. Fíjese que se me, se me ha ido el internet. Entonces no ahí sí me mencionó. Ok, ahorita ponemos a el... Sí, sí es verdad, Eric. Ahorita lo corrijo. Eric Omar, ¿verdad? Eric Omar. Sí, Eric Omar. Y tenía otra pregunta. Yes, please. La tarea solo era hacer la sección 1 y la 2, nada más. Sí, exactamente, así estamos. Sección 1 y sección 2. Eso es. Gracias. So, class, questions, comments? If not, we can stop the class here. Please, no olviden escribirme. Busquenme ahí en el chat grupal. Ahí aparece mi foto y dice Elena Argueta. Ok? So, no tengan eh, ese temor de preguntar a la teacher. No, para eso estamos, para apoyarles y para 
sacarlo de cualquier duda, ¿ok? So, thank you so much for joining today's class. See you on Monday, right? See you on Monday class. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye